What if I do one of these? Please take that out. Here is my professional Rubik's Cube routine. Plus, as a bonus, you will see me perform the card on ceiling trick. If you like mind blowing magic and mind reading, click the red subscribe and the bell so you don't miss anything. So the old uh, Rubik's Cube mixed. Yeah, I got my good cube here and pretty good to go. I'm gonna cover it and when you're ready, please say go. Go. And uh, would you believe completely so, what? thing is, I gotta take it a step further. You didn't get to mix it yet, so please give it a little bit of a mix. <laughs> All right. Don't make this easy, bro. Oh, hot one coming. Okay, tell me when you're ready to rock it. Okay, check this out. Pretty well mixed. Check this out, gang. All I do is place it inside the bag, just the wave. Completely solved, what do you think? <laughs> hold on, the thing is I did use an extra one. I had to do it, I had to do it. <laughs> but hold that thought, hold that thought. It depends what you're going for. So hang on to that for one sec, right. please, and check this one out. All right, so hold that for oh, yeah. one sec. Let me do this one. Um, okay, so depends what you're going for. And that should be right about that should be it. Yeah, yeah. So what I was going for on this one was a complete and perfect match. That means this side. Oh. Hold on, gang. This side. No way, man. That's this side. That's this side. Hold on. The bottoms and the tops. That's a perfect match. Not a bad trick. What do you think? All right. All right. I got to take it a step further. A step further. And tell you what. Watch closely on this one. In fact, I'm gonna ask you to hang on to this for one sec. I did not yet solve it, so I might as well solve it. Oh, I one hand solve though. Coming in hot with this one. A one hand solve coming at you, and I think I could do this. Okay, here it is. And that's a one hand solve, <laughs> which isn't bad. Thing is, gang, I did touch it. What if I do one of these? Please take that out. Come on, that's a hot one. That's a hot trick. All right, I do have a closer. Last one, this is a big one. I haven't done this yet. They're gonna get mad, but I might as well do this. Okay. So all the cards are different, mixed, and good to go. What card do you like? An ace, a two, or three? What are you thinking? Always bet on black. So let's see. Um, Jack. Okay. I'll tell you what. I hope I can do this one. You got this. Uh, I think I have one in here. So, Doe, I'm going to give this to you. Grab these, please. Deal them face down one at a time, please. Like face down. Yeah, face down so we don't even see. Nah, so we don't even see what they are. One at a time will work. That works. And you could deal till you want to stop. That's it? I feel like I said it right there. Do you want to go a couple more? Is this one? It's, okay. Right there? <laughs> this one works or the next one? then that should be your jack of spades. <laughs> but that's not the trick. Put your name on here. Let me grab a pen. Got lucky on that one. So sign it, please, right across the side. OK, gang, coming in hot with this. All right, and perfect. Super. OK. Thank you. All right, so card is signed about halfway in. Please hold those a sec. I don't want the cards to go everywhere. I have a little stack of rubber bands. Grab that, please. Okay, watch closely on this one. 
one card signed in the center, the rubber band around the pack. All I do, let me sneak over here, check this one out, is toss them straight up. <laughs> One card on the set. Come on, that's a hot trick. Yeah. Hi everyone, this was filmed at Vid Summit in LA. Anita and I have been following and learning from Daryl Leaves for months and months. We are huge fans and have watched all of his videos. Daryl is a genius and a YouTube inspiration. This week has been bananas. I performed at six events. Wednesday night was for the heads of the police and fire department in Bernardsville, New Jersey. Thursday was a corporate event in Detroit. Friday was a corporate event in Ohio. Two bar mitzvah parties in New York yesterday and a 50th anniversary party this morning. You ever wonder why I don't look nervous when performing? It is because I've been there so many times. I'm thinking about making a video about dealing with nervousness. Is this something you'd like to see? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to click the red subscribe and watch more mind-blowing magic.